Now, while you're putting that in the oven, I'm going to get started on my cinnamon bun. So this uses one of my favorite ingredients, and I just love it this way, cinnamon right in sticky buns. So I've gotten here some flour. This is bread flour, three cups of it. I'm going to add to that some milk powder, a quarter cup of milk, dry milk powder, and then some sugar. I've got five tablespoons here of, excuse me, I think it's uh, four, ta four tablespoons of sugar. And then I've got salt. I'm going to add a little bit of that. Now, everything's going in at once. It's kind of an easy recipe. I've got one ounce of fresh yeast. Just dump that right in. Five tablespoons of butter. And I see you use fresh yeast instead of that powdered yeast. I don't use granulated yeast much, but no, we I get... I never do either. I like the flavor of this, but we get big hunks of it. You know, I get it by the pound at the restaurant, yeah, so that's yeah, why I use it Yeah, those blocks or two pounds or two pound focaccia. blocks. Yeah. I added a cup of water here, and we're just going to blend everything together. There we go. So this is a really simple bread dough. It's really yeah. pandemi, which I don't know if uh -huh. you've made yeah, that before. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. I used to have a bakery, and this is a real common French, just a sandwich loaf bread. Yeah, you see yeah. them in France all over the place, and they're a very square loaf that you bake in a pan with a lid right on it. Uh-huh. So this is pandemi. The thing that's unique about it is it has a little bit of butter in it, and it's got that milk powder that we were talking earlier. Yes, you probably yes, could yes, use whole yeah. milk. Probably in, yeah, in substitute for some of the water. Right, but because I have a, had a bakery, we use powdered milk because you can keep it around that, yeah, for a long time. Yeah. Now we're going to mix this for two minutes on a low speed, and then once it's come together, I'm going to turn it up for about six minutes, and then we're going to get that dough really going and get some gluten developing. Yeah. I'll show you how to test for that later. While this dough comes together, though, we're going to go to break, but stay tuned because we'll be right back to turn out some delicious cinnamon buns. Welcome back to Sweet Dreams. I'm Gail Gann, and my buddy Wayne Harley Brockman's here with me today, and we're creating some cinnamon masterpieces. It looks like the dough for the cinnamon buns is ready to go. I just want to check Wait. on it and show you what I mean. Let me just see. Yep. Let me show you. When the dough is ready, the way I do a test, you want to make sure the gluten is well developed. So kind of spread the dough between your fingers real thin, and if it doesn't break or tear, it looks almost like a web. A thin sheer web, that means it's ready. So once you've got it to that point, put it in the refrigerator for about two hours, covered with a damp towel. I've got one here that I've chilled. You can see how beautiful this dough is. It's really easy to handle now that it's been chilled. So I'm going to roll this out on a floured surface. Nice. Give the pastry chef throw. Ooh, yeah. Get flour all over the place. Just roll it into like a, a square, sort of 10 by 10. While I'm rolling, can you get the honey schmear going? Sure, I'll put in the light brown sugar mm -hmm. and some butter, nice softened butter. This is going to be the sticky part in the bottom honey. of the pan. Because it's honey schmear. So honey you, schmear for the bottom of the pan. What's honey schmear without honey? Yeah, the light Cairo mm -hmm. and some ground cinnamon. There's the and cinnamon. One tablespoon of water just to help bring it all together. This well, is going to go in the bottom of the pan, but then that'll become the top later when we yeah. turn the buns out. Just whip this all together. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, all over the place. I'll even turn it up a little higher. Really whip it together. And you want this to get nice and fluffy, right, Gail? Yeah, and smooth. Okay, great. Completely smooth. And once we get it all fluffy, just put like two tablespoons. Yeah, in just each, about uh, a little under two tablespoons. Pan. Just okay. sort of divide it evenly amongst. You're going to fill ten of them, though, not all twelve. We've only got enough oh, okay, for ten. Okay, great. All right, so I've got my dough all rolled out. This looks perfect. I'm going to mix together half a cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. So I'm making cinnamon sugar. That's all. Just stir those together, and that's going to get rolled inside of this dough like a jelly roll. Now to get the sugar to stick, I'm going to brush it with some melted butter very generously, okay? Just kind of slap that on, slather that on. It's almost like making cinnamon toast right here on the dough. There we go. Now, it's slightly cold, remember, because I took it out of the fridge, so that's going to keep uh -huh. it from proofing up while I'm yeah. working on it. Now, sprinkle it with all the cinnamon sugar, so very generously. Coat this baby. There we go. With all of it. Now, we're going to roll it up, jelly roll style. Just, just start at one end and start rolling. Once you've got that rolled up, we're going to chill it one more time just to kind of get it used to all living together there. Put it on a sheet pan, stick it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Now to cut these up, I've got one here 
that's been chilling for 30 minutes. I like to use dental floss. You can use a knife, but I find it's easier if I just take a length of dental floss, slide it underneath the dough, about an inch down, and then just pull on it. See, and it cuts it just like that without dragging your knife through it. And we're just going to cut one inch sections of dough. There That's a real go. Eastern European trick also. The dental they floss? Mamaliga, Romanian <laughs> cornmeal. Really? The same way? Yeah. I always cut cheesecake this way. Well, have you got slick. that ready? Oh, yeah. We're Because I'm ready, ready to right start here. putting these in. There we go. Now, this is going to be a great gooey topping once we turn yeah. it all out. Can you place one of these Absolutely. in each of the containers, each of the muffin tins? Okay. Let me get this under there. We've got a, a nice portion of schmear in here because we want these be things gorgeous. to be gooey. Now, once you've got them all filled, that'll fill up 10. You're going to cover it with a damp cloth, just like this one, and let it proof till they rise up. About an hour and a half it takes so they come to the top of the pan. And then I'm going to bake them at 350 degrees for about 25, 30 minutes till they're golden brown and then turn them out. But we've still got to do the finishing touches on them, so don't go away. Stick around. Wow. Okay. Welcome back to Sweet Dreams. Wayne and I are knee deep in cinnamon today, and we're almost done with the cinnamon buns. I just want to take this yep. pan off. Did they stick? Oh, they, oh, they're perfect. sticky, but they didn't Bravo. stick. That looks great. Look at all the mm. juicy, gooey topping. Woo. Now, just to finish them off, I've got some powdered sugar here, one and a half cups, and I'm going to add a quarter cup of milk to it, just to make a quick glaze. Nice. I've got a little more milk nice. here than I need, but sometimes, you know, it seems like it seizes up or it's a little too thick. So I'll hold back a little bit. So just mix that together, and then we're going to drizzle that over because I did a lot of research. We tried to decide, do these need to be glazed or not? Cinnamon buns with glaze yeah, or without be, glaze? Yeah. The decision was needed glaze. People cool. wanted to see glaze on them. So my friend Jimmy said definitely needs glaze if it's a cinnamon bun. So just stir that together, and then we're going to just spoon the glaze over. There we go. Just to finish them Whoa. off. Oh, doesn't that look great? Gorgeous. Okay, Gorgeous. I'll finish these while you're doing yours. Okay, and I'm going to make a little dust to put on top of the shoe fly pie, which mm -hmm. is a Pennsylvania Dutch clear custard cinnamon pie with a streusel or crumb topping. I'm going to take some cinnamon, brown cinnamon, and some Arbol chili, or you could use uh, cayenne. I love the flavor of Arbol. Why gonna... do you put chili in it? Because it's like my favorite, favorite cinnamon treat, Red Hots. Oh, you like Red Hots? Re oh, when I was a kid, I was wild for Red Hots. They make me sweat. I can't eat Oh, them. they Too make hot. me go yummy. And Too I'm just going to sprinkle some of this on top. Okay. I have a year supply here. <laughs> we have this fiery... Oh, what a great cinnamon, topping for the yeah, shoe fly pie. Cinnamon sugar right up here, and I'm going to take a slice out of this. Mm -hmm. Spatula. Come over and let's sit down and try okay. some of this stuff. Well, These are so sticky. Oy. Look at this. This honey schmear is just... Yeah, the honey schmear oh, is what got, has me All right, excited. Come sit down real quick. And then these, these, buns, like that, yeah. these came out great. Now, you can freeze that dough before you cut it if you want. Just take yep. it out as you need it. Mm -hmm. The other thing, I did use a whisk to get the glaze a little smoother before. So whisk yeah, the yeah. sugar together with the milk. You know what? Thanks for stopping by Sweet Dreams today. And was, thanks to you. It was great to be here. Love cooking with you all with the time. I'm Gail Gann. This is Wayne Harley Brockman. And remember, there's always room for dessert. <laughs>